maybe you haven't thought about it too much. I think a lot of people probably haven't. But when you have a company like your phone company talking about uh, giving money to charity and various things of that sort, advocating for various things, you realize that those individuals are not doing what they're doing for you. You realize that they're not even necessarily going to support anything that you care about. Now, you may find that they do, and I get that, I understand that, but those corporations, those corporate entities, they are almost certainly going to support things about which they care, and if you don't be ca uh, don't care about them, you know, that's too bad. You don't, it's not really your choice what they're going to decide to do that sort of thing with. I want to talk today about the idea of corporate charity on the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Kurt, and today is Monday, the 17th of January of 2022. Uh, thank you for everyone who's here on uh, Rumble, the podcast, YouTube, BitChute, Cloud Hub. If you happen to see me on Minds, M-I-N-D-S dot com. I got a Locals account today. I finally got that set up. So sooner or later, I'll probably try and start doing stuff with that as well. Uh, remember, Rumble is my preferred platform. So you can definitely almost always view, I can pretty much always view me there. Um, thank you for coming along, like I say. And today's subject is on corporate charity. And I want to take just a quick second before I get into my notes and point something out. When I say corporate, I mean not individual. I do not mean strictly where corporations supposedly do acts of charity. I mean potentially government, government supposedly doing charity, corporations doing that, uh, churches doing that, and various others that are essentially corporate bodies, one might argue. You'll have to excuse the boneheads uh, riding their motorcycles around my neighborhood. For some reason, they've decided that that's a good idea to do. And, of course, they ride uh, ra rather loud and annoying little motorcycles. You may hear them in the background periodically. Uh, the title of this podcast is using a term you may not ever have heard used before. I'm not saying nobody's ever used it before, just that I don't hear it commonly applied or expressed, and most particularly in the way I'm using it. So, what do I mean when I use an expression like corporate charity. I'm talking about a charitable activity that's not performed on an individual basis. The first question I would ask when talking about it is, is there really such a thing as corporate charity? From my vantage point, the answer to that simple question is equally simple. It is no. As soon as charitable activity becomes anything but individual, the folks who would have given no long uh, are no longer in control of the substance or other thing that would have been given add to that the idea that if an individual gives to a supposed charitable entity he or she performed the charitable act it wasn't the corp the charitable entity it was the individual in question once that entity receives that gift it acts as a bursar if you will but may correctly or incorrectly perform that act if that's true, can it even be uh, can it even be possible for governments to behave as charitable entities? Uh, I would definitely argue it's not. I want to be clear. I recognize pooling resources for the benefit of others can be a useful thing. I'm not saying it's never a good thing or a useful one. Even so, the argument of charitable activity on the part of the pool is extreme silliness. Either that body distributes the largesse according to the desires of the individuals who initially contributed to it, or it doesn't. If it fails in that regard, it is an error. In the case where it succeeds, it's simply following through with the wishes of the giver. Givers, really. It is an executor, if you will, and either executes its duties properly, or it fails to do so. Because government takes money rather than having it contributed by force, so they take it, right, by force, no government activity is even remotely close to charity. Not through taxation, not through fees, not through fines. There's no such thing as charity when the government is concerned. On top of this, if you ask folks, would you have your money spent in this fashion or that, if you showed them how their government was spending it, you can often be assured the response would be a resounding no. I want to reiterate this idea, though. I don't care who the supposed corporate entity is. They are no such thing. That is not, not a charity. 
the individuals who gave, okay, obviously I'm done with my notes here. The individuals who gave to that entity may have been intending to give charity as a result. As a rule, I would say that if they do that, not always, but as a rule, they are mistaken in their activities and they should not count that charity. They gave to a charitable entity. The charitable entity then decides what happens to that money. That's the reality. Again, am I saying there's no such thing as a reasonable purpose for having such entities in place? No, I'm not. But they're not really charitable. What they're doing is taking what you gave and making sure that it gets where you said that it should go. That's not charity. And if their people are paid to do it, it's even less so. And again, when we're talking about government, that's even a more ridiculous thing. Oh, the government is uh, charitable in its nature. Not at any point are governments charitable. They're just not. That's not how they work. And by the way, you wouldn't like it if they were, uh, largely, and that's not something that you want them doing for you. You want to be able to decide, do I want to give that fellow on the corner who claims that he's going to buy a cheeseburger with the money, but maybe using it to save up to buy a needle or, or a bottle, do I want to give money to that individual? Or do I want to be able to take that individual to a fast food restaurant or other place and buy him food? Which to me is a whole lot more sensible. Part of the point of charity, part, m the most important part of charity to me is you give as, in my, in my opinion, as you're led, because I'm a Christian and I believe God leads us to give charity in appropriate and proper ways. You give as you feel led. You give not as a, as a, in a sense of duty per se, but I'm not saying duty doesn't isn't involved in that process, but the more important thing is that you give out of your, quote, bowels of compassion. You give as a person who is intent on helping those in need. And I'm here to tell you something. Uh, David, the second, I guess, king of Israel as a country, said something he he had he had a situation where he was going to give an offering to God and somebody said to him well just take the field and he said no I'm paying you for it and I'm paying you fair market price for it too and the guy kind of went huh what's up with that and he said look I'm not going to give what I don't own what isn't mine what I didn't pay for what I didn't buy or what I didn't earn I'm not doing it the p part of the point of charity is if you take somebody else's money and give it to a third party, you're not being charitable. The person who gave you the money could be said to be if that was their intent in giving you the money. If they gave you the money as earnings for employment or if they gave you the money as a gift or whatever and you choose to give it as a charitable thing at that point, okay, that's one thing. But if somebody says to you, give this to a needy or... Uh, you know, however you want to look at that individual, they're the one doing the charity, not you. You're not the one doing the charity. And this is why corporate entities, whether it's churches, whether it's government, whether it's uh, supposed charitable organizations, this is why they are not charities. People within those organizations, people within your phone company may be intending to do charitable things with the money that they get that they are using in that way. But in my view, they're giving for themselves. They're not giving for you. That's not how that works. And that's true for that charitable organization as well. And again, am I saying, therefore, don't ever give to that, that organization that claims to be a charitable orga organization? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying if you like what they do and you think that they can do something positive or worthwhile, by all means, do that. Okay? But what I'm telling you is... Your charity, if anything was to that group and what they do with things from there, that's not your charity anymore. That's theirs. That's somebody in that organization that's making that call that's deciding. So in my mind, you need to stop thinking in terms of corporate charity and start thinking in terms of what you can be doing for other people for their benefit and so forth. Okay, I need to go ahead and wrap up. This is the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Kurt. Today is Monday, the 17th of uh, January of 2022. It means tomorrow will be Tuesday, the 18th of January of 2022. Today is uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday observed. As far as I understand it, it's certainly Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I think it's intended to be the day that his birthday is celebrated and observed. 
Uh, so I hope you're enjoying that. If you've gotten the day off, great. If you haven't, thank you for being around. Believe me, people appreciate it, even if lots of people don't say as much. Uh, again, today is Tuesday, the 18th of January, 2022. Well, uh, thank you for everyone who's been here on Rumble, the podcast, YouTube, BitChute, CloudHub. Uh, if you see me on MindsMINDS.com, on Minds, and uh, like I say, sooner or later, I'm going to start posting stuff on local, or locals, excuse me. Uh, I haven't set all of that up yet, but I think probably I will be doing so shortly. Um, again, the subject for today has been tr- uh, corporate charity, and tomorrow we're going to talk about gratuitousness. And this has to do with the display of certain things that really probably should not be done on things like movies and television shows and so forth. Um Again, if you happen to be catching me on Rumble, remember that you can give me a boxing glove as a positive Rumble, or as a Rumble, excuse me, you can give me a plus or a minus on Rumble as well as positive and negative feedback. On any of the other platforms that you see me, you can give me a positive or negative feedback as well. Um, remember that if comments are available on a given platform where I put my content, you can comment on whatever it is that I say, and I will do my best to look at what you have to say, and if I think it's a reasonable respond, but certainly at least look at it and see what I think about what you're saying. Um, hope you're doing well today. Hope everything is going well for you, and hopefully we will see you again on Tuesday's edition of the Daily Summation from Curse, Religion, and Politics. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video was recorded on Monday, the 17th of January of 2022. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's religion and politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional and maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurt's Re- Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with a with an S dot kpshubert.com. That's podcasts.kpshubert.com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the Daily Summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.